Okay, so uh, last time when I tried this, I couldn't get it to work with uh, OBS, but now I've actually gotten it to work with OBS, so hopefully this works this time. So one of the things I did while on staging was I decided to create an algorithm to inductively verify the uh, Goldbach conjecture. So what the Goldbach conjecture says is every even number greater than two can be written as the sum of two primes. That's what the Goldbach conjecture is. So I decided to create an algorithm to test that. So um, what uh, it does here is first to determine whether or not a number is even, because all the odd numbers you don't even really need to test. So that determines whether or not a number being iterated over is even. Then, then I, cr I took an is prime algorithm from the internet. So it runs it through the is prime algorithm. It runs another number through the is prime algorithm, and if that turns out to be true, you set the first test variable to be that number, and then you do the same logic for a second uh, prime number. So this is more; those two for loops are more or less to determine whether or not something is a prime number or not. And then at the bottom here, you add them together, and if they equal the value above, then you outprint that given value. This right here is more or less just to make sure you don't repeat the same version of the the same version again and again. So like three five uh, and five three won't be printed um, because of the setting d equal to c. So this makes sure everything only prints once, and that's just the algorithm that um, I borrowed from the web to determine primality. So now if we go ahead and run it, so. It's running now, it's running, and, hmm, okay, here we go. So, this is the list of all the even numbers and the smallest prime factorialization of the given number. So, for example, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 3 plus 7 equals 10. So, you have prime number plus prime number equals the even number. And... So I adjusted the scope, so all these things are scoped to whatever values placed in the scope. So if you scroll down, you can see there's 500 up to uh, 498, so one less than the scope. Um, so like you can adjust this upward, it just takes longer to run. <laughs> so oh, as we see here, this is the list of some of the prime factorizations of all the uh, or some of the added numbers for all the, the even numbers. So after I did this, I then decided to play around with some of the data and took it to uh, uh, Google Drive and created uh, this chart, which, like, there's just something about this chart I oddly like. Like, it's got this weird toothy feel to the point where I call it uh, Gold Bucks Gator. Like, it just, it just looks really cool, in my opinion. But uh, one of the things that I thought might actually be kind of interesting is the bottom line. So the bottom line is actually a decent distribution for something you could use for like a loot box-esque system. So if everyone pays $5 in, most of the numbers are $3. So most people will get back like less than they want or less than. Then you have a lot of fives, which will equal out. And then you have a couple of sevens and a 119, which these would be like the bigger win prizes. So for like a loot box-esque system, system, this would actually be a pretty decent distribution for that to work. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Hopefully this actually works, unlike last time. So, um, yeah.